in grief and also in, <clears throat> in profound thanksgiving, we come to this house of God, to a place of prayer, to a church where remembrance and hope are sacred duties. Here, where Queen Elizabeth was married and crowned, we gather from across the nation, from the Commonwealth, and from the nations of the world to mourn our loss, to remember her long life of selfless service and ensure confidence to commit her to the mercy of God, our Maker and Redeemer. With gratitude, we remember her unswerving commitment to a high calling over so many years as Queen and Head of the Commonwealth. With admiration, we recall her lifelong sense of duty and dedication to her people. With thanksgiving, we praise God for her constant example of Christian faith and devotion. With affection, we recall her love for her family and her commitment to the causes she held dear. Now, in silence, let us in our hearts and minds recall our many reasons for thanksgiving. Pray for all members of her family and commend Queen Elizabeth to the care and keeping of Almighty God. O oh, merciful God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the resurrection and the life, in whom whosoever believeth shall live, though he die, and whosoever liveth and believeth in him shall not die eternally, who has taught us by his holy apostle St. Paul not to be sorry as men without hope for them that sleep in him. We meekly beseech thee, O Father, to raise us from the death of sin unto the life of righteousness, that when we shall depart this life, we may rest in him, as our hope is, this our sister doth, and that at the general resurrection in the last day, we may be found acceptable in thy sight, and receive that blessing which thy well-beloved Son shall then pronounce to all that love and fear thee, saying, Come, ye blessed children of my Father, receive the kingdom prepared for you from the beginning of the world. Grant this, we beseech thee, O merciful Father, through Jesus Christ, our Mediator and Redeemer. Amen. 